Why did you want to be part of this, Bill? Uh, have you ever been persuaded by Brad? I mean, you know, you do as you're told kind of a thing. Uh, now, he talked to me during the year. And I've been at a bunch of them over the course. You know, the last one was Kansas the year before. Uh, you know, so it's, it's something that these coaches give back, and it's nice that we can blend in and help a little bit for this, you know, obviously a cause that uh, resonates with almost every family. What did you make of Illinois this year and what they've become under Brad Underwood? Uh, I remember when he got the job. We, we have a mutual friend. He, he may have mentioned it earlier. Jim Kerwin, who actually was the head coach at Western Illinois, and so, so I sort of knew him. And uh, I don't I, maybe the first year or second, I'm not sure. He was saying he wants to be consistent like Michigan State at that time, like bring credibility to the program and you know be a factor nationally. <clears throat> and obviously he's achieved that. Uh, this year was a great run. Uh, I'm sure everybody's disappointed with the outcome against Connecticut, but. Uh, they were, you know, too deep at every spot. And uh, those of us that watched their games during the year knew that they, you had to be awfully darn good on a night like to beat them. You covered a lot of Final Fours. Where's UConn kind of rank among some of the great teams that you covered? Wow, I don't, you know, 80, 82, I guess. Uh, Carolina was pretty good when Jordan made that jumper. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, Kids stayed in school longer in the 80s. You know, now with the one and dones of, the, of the current uh, you know, teams, it's a little bit different. But uh, when, when you've got size and defense and uh, backup at every spot, uh, you've got yourself a heck of a team. And that, that's what UConn was like. So, so, I mean, to compare like Walton Zero with this is, you know, for this time, they were awfully good. You see a lot of different errors. What do you make of the portal era? Oh boy! I don't know. Sort of glad I'm on the. Sort of glad on this side, you know. I, I, I just think it's well, uh, it's mind-boggling for older people that have been in basketball, and if you want to stay in it, you've got to jump in and give it the best shot you can. Speaking of guys who've been around, right, Lauren? Uh, but and I think that's what guys have done. Uh, Mike Bray a couple of years ago said, "Look, you know, we all may not like it." But if you want to coach, you better do it. And I think that's the way everybody's approached this thing. And, you know, it's, it's a, f a free market. And, you know, kids are in an aggressive position, basically. You know, the uh, whether it's in your program or trying to attract somebody, you know, that's the kids, the kid and family decision.